What is up? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Shred Show Live. I am your host, Josh Pitts, and I'm very excited to have you guys here this morning with me shredding as always. We're live on Instagram. We're live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn, you name it, we are there. And I'm very excited to have you guys join me on this discussion. This is something that I'm hearing a lot right now. I've been talking about marketing, I've been talking about branding, and now we're talking about the social dilemma. Ta Paul, what is up? Trinity Bella, what's up on Instagram? I'm going to be talking about this in particular with so many social medias popping or platforms popping up left and right. Where the heck are you going to focus? Ladies and gentlemen, join me as we get into the conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to shred. Ladies and gentlemen, appreciate you joining us this morning for the Shred Show. We're going to continue to bring you daily content. That's what we're all about here. And we're bringing you the conversations that you want to hear, that you want to be part of. Um, so with that, I want to talk about some questions that I've been getting asked recently. People have seen me. Again, I try to stay active. Here at Shred Media, we do our best to be active on all social platforms and really find what's going to be most valuable for you. And if you're joining us right now, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on wherever you're on, I want you to be part of this conversation. So number one, if you're joining us live, comment hashtag shred. That means you're shredding with us right now live. If you're joining us on the replay, make sure you comment hashtag hustle. But whether you're joining us live, whether you're joining us on the replay, whatever you're doing, I want you at part of this conversation. I want your feedback. I want your thoughts because again, this is about you. We want to try to do everything we can to add value to you. So be part of this conversation right now. I want you to comment where you're watching from. I, I mean, again, I mentioned uh, Jackson. There's Jackson coming in from LinkedIn. Wardog coming in from Facebook. What's up, guys? Appreciate you joining, joining me. Brett Kuhn coming in from Facebook as well. So again, they're commenting. We can see where they're coming from. But comment right now. Paul is over on Instagram. Hashtag shred. What's up, Paul? So what is your favorite platform right now? Again, which is the one that you're using the most? Uh, Crystal Freeler, Utah, Joey. What's up, Joey? Facebook, Facebook. Uh, coming in from the Netherlands all the way across the pond. Uh, Crystal is Facebook all the way from the Netherlands. Appreciate it. Uh, Jackson all the way from Bel Air Beach, Florida. Okay, see, we got people all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. So here is uh, Paul Tolson over at Clubhouse. See, so Clubhouse. Let's get into these different social channels because there was a lot of conversation. There was a lot of people talking about that Instagram was on the way out, which honestly, in my opinion, is totally crazy. Like absolutely just, just off the wall crazy. Instagram has always been a huge player within the social media space. Facebook has been a huge player. Facebook owns Instagram. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that. I've been using LinkedIn heavily the last two months. Oh, see, there you go. That we're going to talk about LinkedIn. Uh, Danny Fee, what's up? Hashtag shred. Appreciate you joining us, Danny. Uh, uh, let's see, Facebook and I, IG. Perfect, Jackson. Thank you. Uh, Danny's another one. Danny's a great example of an awesome content creator that uses multiple channels. We're going to talk about that too. But here's what I want to talk about before we dive into each one of these channels, before we go too deep. I want to talk about this because wherever you're joining us from today is probably where you're spending the most time, whether that's on uh, Trinity mentioned LinkedIn and Instagram. See, wherever you're watching from today is probably the platform you're most comfortable with. And that's where I tell people to start because with all these social channels that are out there from Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, Clubhouse, there's so many of them and it's so easy to get lost. I didn't even mention some of them in my title because there's so many of them now. But what I like to tell people is this, whatever platform you are using currently the most, I would definitely start creating content with that. And also, it really depends on what your goal is. You have to start with that in mind. What is your goal when it comes to using these social platforms? Because if you just want to, again, TikTok, people think TikTok, you just got to go create a dance video or a funny follow the trends on TikTok. That is not the case. Do those do well? Absolutely. Yes, they do well on TikTok. But some of the, the most impressive and the, the channels we're seeing grow the most are the informative ones. Yes, they're entertaining, but they're actually answering the questions of the you know their audience. What are the things that your audience is most interested in? And sometimes it takes a little bit of research. That's what we do here at Shred Media. What is it that your audience really wants to hear? And this is why we're talking about this. We've heard from you guys uh, that you want, you want to know more about these social channels. Which ones should you be using? Uh, Trinity mentioned Instagram, 
Instagram, entertainment, LinkedIn, networking. I love that. That's a very, very good point. Um, with that as well, though, Trinity, I found that Instagram, people love in, 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 for, in wow, can't say that word, informative or information. They love to be taught something. TikTok, we're actually seeing a huge growth with that as well, that it's not just entertaining. It's actually more of like, hey, if you can actually educate your audience while being entertaining, that's that's like your perfect storm. Uh, Jackson Ball, I use LinkedIn for my professional and Facebook and IG for my followers. See, this is something that that actually people talk about a lot. It's like, oh, well, you know, I really focus on LinkedIn to be professional, um, which again, it's a more professional network, but that just seems now you're kind of tearing yourself all over. You're, you're all over the place. Like, hey, you have to go to LinkedIn. Now you have to go to IG. Now you have to go to Facebook. And again, if Jackson brings up a really good point, if you're just trying to get followers, if you're trying to, you know, but why are you trying to get followers? Here's that question, Jackson, is what is the ultimate goal of you getting followers? Are you trying to turn them into buyers? Are you trying to turn them into clients, consumers? What is your goal with that? And I tell everybody, if you are trying to start out on social channels, doesn't matter which one you choose, doesn't matter what platform you choose, if you are just trying to go out there with the mindset of like, well, I need to go create new referrals, new leads, new new business opportunity, you're missing it with social media. You really have to start on a personal level with people before you move to that. Again, you have to have that trust factor. I talked about that yesterday with branding and marketing, but when you're, when you're deciding what social channel is best for you right now, you have to decide. You really have to understand the audience as well. And again, this is a whole discussion. We'll talk about this a whole nother day, but your audiences on these different platforms are unique and you have to be putting out content. You have to be connecting with the audience you truly want to target. The, the content you put out for a 20 to, or even a 15 to 25 year old is going to be different than the content you would put out for a 50 to 60 year old, completely different content. People might argue that fact like, Hey, everybody's watching TikTok. Sure. Again, there's, there's of course those, those unique situations, but for the most part, when you start to, or when you choose a social network and you're like, okay, I'm going to go all in on Instagram. I'm going to go all in on TikTok, LinkedIn, whatever it is, you need to look at that platform and you really need to say, okay, here's who I'm trying to target. And here's the content I'm really going to utilize. Here's the content that I know I feel comfortable in. And again, have that goal in mind and that thought process of what's something you can talk about. Social media is something I can talk about all day long. I am in it all day long. I'm part of conversations. I get a, you know, I'm, I get a, collaborate and talk with some of the best of the best who are way better than I am. That's why I get to share the things I'm learning from them. Again, steal like an artist. I literally, I think I see you say this every single day. Austin Cleon should owe me like, owe me all kinds of rights on his book because I'm going and listening to other and great people. I'm putting it into practice in my business. Then I get to share it with all of you guys. I get to share it with, you know, the people that I love. This is why, why we do what we do. So really have that strategy in mind. So when you pick your channel, what, it doesn't matter what channel it is, start thinking about that audience. And again, how you're going to bring value to them. How are you going to entertain them? Even if you're going to purely try to entertain them, if you're like, you know what? I don't want to talk about mortgages. I don't want to talk about real estate. I don't want to talk about car sales, whatever profession you're in, Costco, wh whatever you do. If you don't want to talk about your profession, you got to find that way to connect with your audience. I've shared many times, you know, I love the outdoors. And when I was doing my mortgages, I was the outdoor LO. I love connecting with people in the outdoor space. That was something we had in common and sharing my story, sharing my adventures. People, connected with that. And ultimately that's where our business came from. People love saying, Hey, Josh is outdoors riding his bike. He's out snowboarding. He's out fishing. He's out doing these things. That's the type of guy that, you know, not only is, do I connect with him personally, but Oh, by the way, he does mortgages. Awesome. I built that trust factor first. So going back to Jackson's point that he mentioned is as you're creating content or as you're utilizing these social channels, don't just come out and be like, ah, well, here's my strategy for making these people a new client. Here's how I'm going to make them a customer that you cannot have that. Find the way to build that trust. And I stole it from my, my from you, my man. Yes, that a baby Jackson. I appreciate it. That means I'm, see, doing my best to add value. Doing, I love hearing that. Appreciate your, your comment there, Jackson. So, and again, if you haven't commented, if you're just joining us, I'd love to hear what your favorite channel is. And guys, if you have questions, please comment, please ask, feel free to shoot me a DM. Uh, we've had a lot of people reach out to us recently from all over, from Instagram to LinkedIn, people messaging me saying, Hey, Josh, I need help with this. So again, that's why we're having these conversations because clearly 
you guys are asking. You guys are, are getting involved, which again, that's what we're all about. We appreciate you guys being here and so we can have these conversations. So with that, we try to keep these short. We try to keep them brief. You know, miss you, but miss you, boo. What up, Biz? What up, Dizzle? I miss you too, boo. Hope you're doing well. See, we have people from all different backgrounds, all different walks of life. That's why I love social media. It's building these relationships. Dizzle, I met doing, you know, some of you guys know, love playing, you know, Call of Duty, playing Apex, playing these some of these different esports games, having fun with that, enjoying life. That's a hobby that I had that I connected with great people. So many of you know our VP of Biz Dev, Justin. He, I met him playing in Call of Duty tournaments, and now he's part of Shred. You never know those relationships that you're going to build. You have to look, you have to look at social media like that. You have to look at the relationships that you're building because you never know what's going to come from them. And I've shared many of you guys, many or many times on this. Some of my best business referral partners, again, I didn't look at them as referral partners in the beginning. I met through social media. I met through creating content. They reached out to me and they said, hey, I love doing this. Hey, by the way, I know you do mortgages. Can you kill, can maybe answer a question for me? I, I got millions and millions of dollars in referrals purely from that is creating content, do, sharing the things that I really enjoy. So keep that in mind when you're putting out content and stay with it. So many people get discouraged. So many people are like, well, Josh, I've been putting out content for you know a month now and I haven't got anything from it. It takes years. I've been doing this for years. I've told you back when I was like, producing LO, five, six, seven years ago, I was using Facebook and LinkedIn. And now again, just within the last few years, I've seen that uptick. Stay consistent, continue to put out the content. And again, really make sure or you have the audience in mind first. So when it comes to this social dilemma, doesn't matter what, what channel you're using, pick the one that you're comfortable with, pick the one that you are actually excited to create content with. And again, it can be any of the channels. Uh, don't just think you can't get on TikTok because you're like, well, I don't want to be that dad guy who can't dance or I have to do dancing videos. That is absolutely not the case. Oh, I can't get on YouTube because I don't understand the strategies. You can learn. Just pick one and really start putting out content, coming up with the ideas or steal from other people that you love following and start creating content around that. That's my tip. Don't overthink what, so what social platform you're going to use. Just because Clubhouse is the newest, latest, and greatest thing doesn't mean you have to be there all the time. Funny enough, I'm going to share this before we wrap up. I was looking at you know the apps on screen time. It shows you how much time you're spending on social media platforms. What's interesting is Clubhouse has had a huge uptick for me. I'm part of great conversations. It's something that I see as, as kind of new. I see it as a, a lot of value to it. So we've been spending a lot of time on Clubhouse. Instagram and Facebook and everything else is right behind it. But you know, but, but that's why we're here. We're sharing what we're learning so you ultimately can go out and make the best decision and truly have a value or be have it be valuable to all of you as you start your content creation and your brand building journey. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you. I love you. If you didn't get a chance or if you're just joining in, make sure you comment down below what your favorite uh, social channel is, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, Clubhouse, Twitter, whatever it is, I can tell you the personal content is way more interactive and more viewed than canned content. 100% Jackson. What a great way. What a great content to end on. If you work with a company or somebody who provides you with canned content, sure. I, and again, I say this, <laughs> I say this politely, but a lot of that content is crap. And a lot of people are not going to engage with it. Find personal content. Be you. That content is what people are going to engage with because that's who they want to know. They want to know the Jacksons. They want to know the Bretts, the Dannys, the the Codys. They they want to know you personally. That's what social media is all about. So with that, guys, appreciate you joining us today. All the comments. Thank you for engaging with us. And make sure you go. And if you haven't already hit that like button or hit that follow button, please do. We appreciate you. We are uh, tuning in every single day. We're going to be doing a clubhouse in a little while, having a very similar discussion. So if you want to be on clubhouse, come over and join us over there uh, in the new Shred Syndicate uh, channel, which we're very excited about. So make sure you jump over there on clubhouse and join in the conversation. Guys, as always, we appreciate you. We love you. We had one more comment. Great stuff, Josh. Appreciate all you do. Jackson, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Guys, we appreciate you. We love you. Now it's time for all of you to go shred, go show up, hustle, repeat every day. See you guys. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you again so much for joining us for today's show. If you like the content, make sure you hit that like button below. And if you already haven't subscribed to our channel, click right over here and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to see our latest video, click over here. And again, if you want to see the best of the best of daily content within the mortgage and real estate industries, you have to subscribe now. We look forward to having you shred with us every single day.